ended up in Huntington um, through football. I was a full scholarship football player. Uh, was recruited out of Penn Hills in Pittsburgh. Um, me and another one of my classmates, uh, Scott Heckel, we both got scholarships and uh, ended up in Huntington. Uh, best decision of my life. Uh, not only uh, football wise but uh, school wise you know I I'm here today doing the job I love 25 years after I played my last football game I have my own show on WMUL I um, wrote for the Parthenon in the sports uh, department and then I did my internship at WOWK um, in their sports department so uh, it was well-rounded I you know I really enjoyed my time on WMUL I really enjoyed my time at the Parthenon but my biggest thing was television. There was just some type of calling there that um, it was great. I, I really enjoyed television. I, I liked not being stuck on one story for an entire day, and it was sports. It was interesting. I, I had my own show on WMUL. It was called Inside the Herd's Huddle with Tim Flaherty, and they thought it was great that a football player was actually doing a pregame show. I'd tape it on Wednesdays, and it would run before WMUL's uh, game coverage, and they just loved it. And it gave me great experience too. I mean, I'm a guy that I never wanted to be in front of the camera, didn't want to be on air, but anything to help further my, you know, what I knew what I wanted to do after college. And um, after I was done uh, with my playing careers when I wrote for the Parthenon, and since I knew some of the athletes and I knew, not inside stories, but I knew stories that some people weren't gonna get, um, you know, I had a front page cover one time uh, on the Parthenon that uh, Marshall athletes had a higher GPA than the rest of the university. A lot of people that didn't sit too well, and they made me, instead of get three sources, I had to get five sources for the story. But I made the front page of the Parthenon, and it was a two-page spread, and, and, you know, it just made me feel like I could make a difference uh, with what I was doing. I'm in a unique situation where, you know, actually playing in the national championship. You know, it was one double A and it was in, um, you know, Pocatello, Idaho. It was still the biggest thing in my life. It was still the biggest game of my life. And so when I'm approaching these players at Ohio State and I follow them, I'm there from the first practice to the last, last celebration. I know what they're going through. Listen, I got the greatest job in the world. I get to go and, like I said, cover Super Bowls and national championships. I also cover Little League Baseball. I cover high school basketball. I cover high school lacrosse. Um, you know what? It's been a really good ride. And I couldn't imagine if I went anyplace else other than Marshall that I would have had this opportunity.